I have no idea which of these directions is the correct direction to go. Platforming looks like it's very snappy, like it just wants to glue you to things, but in a helpful way. Yeah, it... So far, I've been pretty impressed. Ow! Cripes. Can I do anything with this? Aha! Okay, we got the... Malik's of Tadus smattered there. There's a lot of traps. Uh, let's see. I can just duck, yeah? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pop up here, heal. This got hairier than I'd like it to be, but that's okay. Looks like there's an upper area too that I can check out. Though the upper area looks like it just bypasses the mobs. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Love how all the enemies are actually based off of flagellation practices and stuff. Yup. I mean, to be fair, the uh, the developers of this game would be probably fairly familiar with those, sort of. I realize I'm, I'm stereotyping a little bit, but I'm pretty sure this is a Spanish studio that made this game. And so there's a lot of history, uh, specifically in Spain, to pull from for all this stuff, which is really cool. I mean, obviously, like, I would I absolutely despise everything that's going on in this game. It grosses me out to no small extent. Can I break this? I can. Wizard ghosts. There we go. Okay. And that's shooting. Okay. I'm so glad the contact damage is just very minor. I love how jolly his ladder climbing animation is. There's just something great about it. He's just like, um de dum de dum down we go, for reasons untold. There's a lot of blood here, but also treasure chest? You've acquired... Seguera of the Eyes of Stars. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't know if that gives me iframes. I'm gonna assume not, but still. I will look into some of these things later. God, this is good though. Let's see, question. Nope. Can't roll under those. At least not the too many. Uh, We've got an actual flagellant here. Now, what I could do... Is that like a weird bishop with a pokey stick? It is! This is amazing! I also really like how snappy this is. I was actually under the assumption that this game was going to be uh, much slow, uh, much slower, much more methodical. It's not. It's very fast. Usually with games like these, there's a certain feeling of, like, sluggishness to every action. We have the cervical vertebra of some random asshole. Oh, boy. Uh, it's like Death's Gambit, but better. Yeah, very good, uh, very good comparison. Like, I like... 
I like Death's Gambit a lot. For all of its flaws. Small bead of red wax. Looks like I should be able to set that on fire, but I don't think I have that ability. At least not yet. What do we have? Strength and vitality. Throw money when destroying things. We'll leave it for later. Don't even... Relics. Yeah, I don't even have those yet. Those are quest items. Mea culpa stuff. Uh, let's see. I should probably use these. Speed of his attacks for some time. I think I'd rather have the... Blast. What the heck is the lore of the Volva? Do you want to take a short lore break? Let's take a short lore break and look at weird shit. Okay, so Dove Skull. That morning, when the bonfires were lit and the convicts were raising their ghastly pleas to the indifferent inquisitors, a white dove came down from, the, from heaven and perched on the shoulder of a prisoner, where it stayed until it burned with him. <laughs> that is a sign from above, and no one gave a shit. Uvula of Proclamation, decree from His Holiness Escribar. It shall be called the Anointed Legion, said His Holiness. Under the armor, their bodies shall be covered with bandages anointed with oils that I myself will bless. They will protect the mother of mothers, as I will protect them. Small bead of red wax, so vitality and stuff. Uh, the Abbey ceased to be a quiet place. Cries of pain coming from every cell pierced the walls. The old friar knew he would be next, so he got up from his cot, where he had been huddled, and glanced at the few items that lay on the table, most of them memories from his life before joining the Order. He wanted to be kissed by the miracle while immersed in those gentle thoughts. Triggering most memories were some small balls of wax, now covered in dust, that he used to enlarge by picking up wax from the candles during the processions. Okay, what about that cervical vertebra? Where the heck was that? Ah, here we go. So these are collectibles. So, Phalanx of Brandon, the Grave Digger. Brandon Joshua Mullins dug the graves of hundreds throughout his life, whether friend, family, or foe. But when the chaos arose, there was no one left to return the favor. Maxilla of Teradax, the Cleric. With his broad smile and good manners, Nicodemus Teradax never denied anyone refuge in his church. The discovery of a pile of bones and the sacristy revealed his true intentions. Cervical vertebra of Zyker the Brewmaster. Zyker the Brewmaster gave ignoble fame to his monastery by brewing the most famous beer in the kingdom. One night, the flames of a fire raised his legend to the heavens. I'm also really digging the music for this. It's actually, it's it's pretty mild, sort of. It's, it's very backgroundy. But in a very good way. Is there where to zoom in? Not really. Map's a little murky, but I think it's just because I'm far away. But actually, it looks like we're on the right track. We might want to go up, though, and find the uh, checkpoint. Get my heels back. I will admit the level design seems to be a little bit on the... Uh, linear side of things. I was expecting like a couple more branches. But, that said, like the... Im oh, wait. Hold on. I could do something while I was here. Inventory. Uh, let's see. This won't let me spend mea culpa stuff, will it? No. Well, that's fine. We'll get it later. I like it how we are collecting bones from somebody. Uh, multiple somebodies. Hey, maybe no fall damage. At least, maybe minimal fall damage at the very least. Hopefully we get to put together a bone friend by the time we're done. Oh, boy. Ow. I was kind of hoping I could jump it, but I jumped the gun a bit. Okay, so that's how we get back. Let's go the other way first, see what we get. The enemies also don't hit like trucks. There was a game... Ooh. Oh. Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. Do not be surprised to find this merchant here. 
This ancient occupation requires me to be wherever I can obtain rewarding benefits. Call me Candelaria, for what I sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires. I will not ask you for any money whatsoever. Those forbidden tears you shed would be more than enough for me. Go ahead. Cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. And may my eyes be blinded if I'm lying. Okay, moss preserved in glass. Minute jar filled with moss. Tiny white flowers that shimmer inside can grant some protection against toxins. What I am offering you and may my eye. Okay, hollow pearl. Empty tarnished sphere. There's no trace of. Turn down the AC a bit. It's getting cold in both of these. Shallow's lurking. My feet are getting cold. The sun's not pointed at my room right now, so it means I'm getting cold in here. Uh, let's see. Anyway. Em uh, hollow pearl, empty tarnished sphere. There's no trace of na nacre left. But it retains just a hint of blue sheen. It creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. I mean, I want to buy all of these at some point, but here, knacker. Huh? What is knacker? Behold what I present to you. Though a small piece, its great power should not be underestimated. <laughs> Trust me, for I have the blood of kings on the palm of my hand. Oh. The actual thing that pearl, pearls are made of. Okay, key to the chamber of the eldest brother. A forbidden key that was guarded by the eldest brother of the Brotherhood, but was eventually lost, thus forever sealing the chamber it opened. Let's buy that. What I am offering, and may my eyes. I'm pretty sure I can't buy that yet. Yeah, protection against toxins might not be bad. I also want her shinies. Let us be kept. No, nope, same stuff. Okay. So it doesn't look like I can get through here. This feels like there's going to be more in that room, but maybe not. So Knacker, also known as Mother of Pearl, is an organic and organic composite material produced by some mollusks as an inner shell layer. Also makes up the outer coating of pearls. Oh, only the outer... Ow. That is not the direction that I was pointed. But yeah, I was gonna say in this game's credit, nothing actually does buttloads of damage here. Oh, I, I gotta dodge that one. What if I can parry them? The answer is no. Well, that went about as badly as it possibly could have, but that's okay. Because I'm fine. These guys are kind of chumps chumpslies. Ow. I got a charged attack with your name on it, and it didn't hit because freaking Float Pope is too damn high. Freaking Float Pope. Why do you do the things that you do? Okay, so the answer is... Ouch. Okay, so I am near death. And that obviously is cause for concern. That said... I think I killed that guy. Which is cool. Stay away from this one. Shell is lurking. Why are you lurking, Shell? Oh, they're here. 
She wants my cashews. She wants my nuts. Okay. Uh, let's see. I do not know what lurks below, but it looks like pain. Hey. Double secret? No. No double secret. Unfortunately, I am in Painesville, which is rough. Uh, that looks like double Painesville. Okay. This place seems more painful. Hello! Or not more painful, more peaceful. From a place of blessings have I been entrusted with watching over you, penitent one. Thus it has been arranged. My name is Viridiana. I have been granted a gift with which I can assist you in carrying your burden if required. But only you can make that choice. Penitent one in silence. Will you require my assistance with your next task? Heck yeah! So be it. That better not give me the bad ending. Looks like we got a boss coming up soon, probably. Man, I really gotta load up uh, Salt and Sanctuary at some point. As like a... as a co-op thing for Shell and myself. I, I don't know. I, I'm i a big sucker for Souls-likes. They're some of my favorite... They're, they're my favorite genre by far. Mainly because of what I was talking about earlier. You know, tight level design, tight gameplay. Okay. Feel bad for not learning the pattern for that guy. Float Pope. Leave this poor man alone. Let me cone head in peace. Float Pope is freaking durable, by the way. Like, damn. Let's see. Empty bile vessel. Uh is that I have no idea. That might be an extra HP. That might be more than that. I don't really know. Better not be better than that one covenant dark si uh, Dark Souls 2. It's in the starting area that tricks new players into entering the harder mode. I'd be mad about that. This seems like it's probably not going to be like that, which is good. Oh wow, these things are not worth it. Let's see. So we are in the we are in the suburbs. Okay, so we had this. It's not really that useful. It's up my vitality for a bit. That's also not that helpful, but still. Small benefits. Go left? Go left. Seems like a boss fight in here. Seems like a boss fight in here. Sup, Treesus? Wow. Okay, this makes me think. Uh, let's see. We want to go to this. Ow. Okay. So this, this buff is real good. Oh, she heals me. Okay, that's awesome. 
I wonder if I get less of a reward as a result of her help. Probably, but you know what? So be it. Buff up. He mad. Oh, he real mad. Okay. God, his tells are so perfect. No mercy. Requiem Eternum. Like, it was really easy to dodge his hits. Not necessarily because he was an easy boss, but because his tells were just that good. That's probably not going to hold on, but right now my impressions for this game are super positive. That is a big man! Hi. Uh, I don't want to go to th uh, this beach vacation sucks. Can I leave? It's just filled with corpses. Like, I could deal with some seaweed and like a dead crab or two. Even like a dead seagull, but like this, this is pushing it a little. In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle, when you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage, custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the peers, just as it chose you to walk on the sacred sea. May the gold in my visage Melt and erase the attrition of your soul. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. We have acquired Holy Wound of Attrition. But yeah, I, I don't know if the rest of this game is going to hold up in the same way that this does. But like, this feels really stinking good compared to a lot of Metroidvania platformers right off the bat. Like, this feels like Hollow Knight good. Maybe not quite there. But like, in terms of like core mechanics, I'm getting a very similar feeling. You have carried out the first humiliation of penance. You have met the visage of attrition. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Okay, let's go back for a bit though. There's a lot of stuff I haven't checked out. Also, the, uh, the self buff to just like, go full ham on people was real rad. I didn't really use the healing lady that much, but you know what? That's okay. Hopefully I didn't miss out on anything cool because I picked her up or, you know, got like a bad end or something. Oh, wait, where does this lead? Leads places. Uh, warp door? So now we can warp to Alberto. Alberto? Bouquet of time. This puts us right next to the thing of mercy. Okay, let's grab Sacred Thrust. And Weight of Weight of Sin. Save up for last words. I have a slide dash. And that looks like a pretty beefy drop attack. Okay, back to Mercy of Dreams. This is fun. <laughs> oh. oh, that feels good. Oh, it feels so good. 
There's a lot of blood here. I see. Well, that hurt a bunch. But that's okay, because I don't think I have to come back. We acquired Pisiform of Huronet. Huron. Unfortunately, I can't chain these dashes in the way that I want to, but still. Okay, and I can't get on the other side of that. There's some other way to get there. You destroyed one of those with your sword earlier. The shots? We can test. Nope. Cannot destroy those. Okay. And upwards we go. What do we what do we have around here? We got the door, we've got an area that I can't go past, and then something else elsewhere. <laughs> he did destroy it. It was with his face, I mean cone. <laughs> I will admit, the stupid cone is like I'm not sure if it's my least favorite or one of my most favorite parts of this. By the way, this statue. Uh, the Jesus in repose while Mary is like holding him and stuff. Uh, the statue for that in real life is amazing. I hope to see it someday in real life, but it's like in Italy, and I, my interest in visiting Italy are comparatively low compared to like a lot of other countries. Pieta, there we go. Just a goopy boy. I hope at some point we do get the ability to hit somebody with my face. I don't really know where I want to go on this one. Let's just go here and then down. Let's just see what's this way first. Uh, it's up. Blessed are the eyes that with devotion see my tormented heart. Let the ones who are joyful in affliction and fasting come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six stinging pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one and purge one of your six mortal stains of the soul. What? Mm, yep, that's yeah, gonna need a censoring edit. I mean, realistically, I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, I know a lot of people, last time I had to censor a whole bunch of uh, tatas, were like, you don't need to do that, whatever. But, like, I do. Uh... 